Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Motorman Dan, and today we're going to be playing Chimps. Now, this is pre-recorded because I wanted to make sure that, you know, Chimps can take a while and sometimes you're just waiting for money before you build something. Um, but I'm going to call this one Mechanics. Uh, because we're going to be using a lot of mechanisms uh, in this Chimps run. So I decided to do Etienne. Uh, we've got the tax shooter. We're actually going to go for the for the trio of tax shooters fifth tier, um, with the help of a recursive cluster and an engineer monkey. Um, all of them kind of fit within the theme of mechanics. Um, you know, we do have like a little bit of a, of a spook here coming up on a camo round before everybody gets camo, uh, but we start with the. Uh, the 320 and the 203 tax shooters, respectively. That way we can get through the uh, the lead rounds as well as pop purples. Um, so we really don't have too many weaknesses other than generally uh, camo detection. That's like our main weakness. And they're on 37. As you can see, we kind of had a bit of a scare. But luckily, Etienne uh, drones were able to clean it up. Um, and then once we get the recursive cluster, really balloons are not going to be an issue at all. I think recursive cluster is one of the best towers uh, in Chimps. You know, honestly. Um, and so we get a two, uh, 240 engineer monkey. I think the 240 or the 204, either way, um, one's just better against Moabs and one's better against Balloons. Since we already have a recursive cluster, I figure we go for the for the 240 engineer. But the, uh, or I'm sorry, the 420. Uh, but the 420 engineer is really one of the best. Uh, it, it, it works really well with that team because of the camo detection. Uh, the sentries do a lot of damage. They do really, really well. Um, we could have gone for Sentry Champion, but I ultimately decided not to. Um, and then, as you can see here, we're saving up money through the 50s, through the 60s. We're going to get Infernal Ring. As it stands, the Ring of Fire can actually help take uh, 63, as well as the Recursive Cluster. Really, really good against 63. That's, that's kind of the only main issue. And then we have our Moab Popping Power, uh, which is... Which is primarily going to be the engineer and it's going to be um the bottom path tax shooter as well you know you put it up close to the uh close to the pathway that way the hitbox for the moabs and the in the bfbs as they cross over it they get hit by more tax and so it actually does more damage um <clears throat> to them because they're all because it's pushed up in the track whereas if i had him replaced with where etienne is it would actually do less damage uh until they got farther down but then it would be less of a Moab popper and more of a balloon popper, which I already have plenty of that. So my only real weakness with this, I guess, is kind of purples. I don't know. DDTs, I guess. DDTs are probably my major issue. But the Ring of Fire is just, it's just so good. Um, and the Inferno Ring, absolutely insane. So I really think we could probably beat the game with just this. Maybe with the Tax Zone and just this because of the bad. The bad has a lot of health. So at this point, I decided, you know what? Let's go for Blade Maelstroms. Let's do this trifecta it out. Let's get all three of them put together really close. And then whenever you have so many primary uh, towers, of course, you're going to want to go to the primary village. So I did. I got the Mib, which I don't really need the camo detection part of it. But I said, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the Mib anyways for extra DDT popping power. If there's one thing I've learned, sometimes it's the DDTs that kill you. You know, uh, you, can, you can plan ahead for a lot of other things. Sometimes it's the DDTs that kill you. Um, so everything other than the engineer and the dart monkey down there are within range of the jungle drums. Don't really need it for the engineer. Not gonna, not gonna move him up or anything. We're breezing past all the DDTs, and now it's just more, uh, more about Moab popping power, which is why I spam a bunch of two zero four tax shooters all around the villages. It's got the mib. They can attack everything. They can hit hit everything, and you know the BFB. Uh, the ZOMGs are all kind of dying on top of them because of their hitboxes. And there you go. And there you have it. Black Border Chimps. Guys, as always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the flip side. Deuces.